What's up, Solar Warriors? Today is Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. My name is Jarrett McAllister, the virtual solar pro, and this is Power Hitters Training. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then share these trainings with all your solarpreneurs. You know, it helps a brother out and it definitely helps them out. So today we are going to be rocking kind of like we've been the past couple weeks i got my man chris here on the call who's going to be teaching on some of his favorite closes what's up chris you there jared what's going on man happy to be here today happy uh tuesday and uh here it's nice and cold and snowy up there in idaho uh yeah not quite it's happening though yeah the forecast for weather does show snow it's the earliest that it has snowed in the First, this will be our third winter here, and yeah, it's gonna. We're gonna supposed to get a couple inches. I spent this weekend doing what everybody was doing this winter, uh, this weekend, and that was winterizing all of their fun toys. So winterizing the boat, winterizing the trailer, getting it all prepped. I'll be covering it up, parking it up for the winter, covered, and yeah. So and then it's dropping into the twenties this week. This weekend we're having our second annual Halloween McAllister party uh, where we have the whole neighborhood over here. And yeah, I'm looking forward to posting our costume on social media because I think it's a good one. It's kind of relevant. We take pride in having a pretty fun costume every single year. Uh, this year will be no exception. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into wins like we do every single week. So success stories, if you got a sale, if you have a new team member, I'd love to hear from you. We all love hearing the wins. Um, I will go ahead and start off because I have some wins that I would like to share. First of all, shout out to Carl and Nagin. Um, Carl and Nagin own a mortgage company in Rockland, California, near Sacramento. They're on Aaron Knutson's team. And they jumped on board. They want to get involved with solar, add it to their book of business. And they tagged me there. They got their first lead. It was a good friend of theirs. And she sends me over to quote and says, hey, Jarrett, here's the quote they got. You know, can we do anything with it? I was like, yeah, that's a Tesla quote. All right. So we all know how Tesla is, right? They got the name. They got the branding. They got the lowest price initially when you see it. But there is so much more than just the name and pricing, as we all know. We ended up meeting with the client down in Southern California. It was a unique situation where they own a house. They bought the house next door for their parents. This is going to be long term. And I explained to them the main differences between power and Tesla. And I didn't go off bashing Tesla, but more so talking about the benefits of working with Power, a nationwide brand, our 30-year warranty, how we're not tied to one specific panel. Um, and when I compared it to their 10-year warranty, where there is really no customer service when it comes to Tesla or customization, and that you're going to get white glove service working with yours truly, even though we were 5K more than a initial Tesla price, they still decided to go with us because why? We sold them on value. Um, and so that's a huge lesson to learn. You know, don't get caught up in the pricing war. It's not all about price. We are, they ended up going with REC panels. Tesla can't touch that. They went with two new Enphase 5P batteries backup. 30-year warranty, they're paying cash, they're going to be saving over $100,000 over the 25 years. So shout out to team Carl and Nagin um, getting their first sale on the platform. Awesome there. I do have another win that I would like to share. Um, this one means a lot to me. Here, let me go ahead and stop. I'm going to stop my share right here. Um, I want to give a huge shout out. I don't know if you guys remember. I think she was in the dentist chair last week, but I was saying we may have a new tier three on the platform and huge shout out to Miss Tracy Canoni, who's our newest tier three seller. What's up, Tracy? You there? Yes, I'm here. Happy hey. to be here. Excited Perfect. to be here. 
Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So tell us about it. You are our newest tier three. Go ahead and share your win. Yeah, I didn't think I would be here um, a year ago or even six months ago. So I'm definitely happy to be here, be a tier three. Um, I do have some wins too. I'm excited to share. I'm part of a new BNI group where I've been reached out by a multiple people already that said, uh, I got so many connections for you with realtors, contractors, roofers. So I'm excited for that. Um, my second install just got finalized, turned on today, this morning. So that was another win. Um, and I'm bringing on one of my buddies, um, long-term friend, Brad, to the platform. He is on this call right now, too. So I'm excited to bring him on and show him everything that Power has to offer. And he's excited to to join as well. Awesome. Right on, Tracy. No, you know, you had reached out to me, I think it was in February or March. It it was literally a couple of days before our first or before this year's virtual power world. And you had seen all my social media and what was going on. And your backstory is, is that you're a contractor. You know, you, you're actually a designer. You design ADUs. And in California, for those that aren't aware, it's required to put solar on any new build, right? So you're building a, you know, an 800 square foot granny home in the backyard. It, it requires solar and Tracy's designing these homes, but needing cyst, uh, solar. And she reached out and said, why am I not selling solar? I might as well be offering this to my clients as well and taking advantage of this. Uh, so she joined on. She literally signed up like the night before Virtual Power World, spent the two days during the Virtual Power World, drank the Kool-Aid, right? <laughs> Went all in, signed up for Mentor Factory, entered and put in her first initial deals. I think we did like four or five deals within your first month or so. Um, right. And then she's been hitting the gas, all gas, no brakes ever since. So super proud of you, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. All right. I see Malia has a win that she would like to share with us. Here's another up and coming rising superstar here on the platform. What's up, Malia? I see you. Everywhere. I have a, hi, I have a few wins. Um, I guess number one, I closed my first deal in North Carolina. So officially in North Carolina, that bumped me to tier two. So I got the email, uh, officially that I'm a tier two. And then I got a Sonova email with my portal login because I finished my Sonova training. So I'm officially tier two Sonova certified. And I'm really excited because this week I have a new team member who's actually on the call today. Um, Michael's been in the army for 18 years and he's just on fire. I won't share his wins, but there's big things happening. So I'm really, really excited because we're running a thousand miles per hour and it's nice to have someone to run with and to build this with. So I'm really excited about that. Excellent. No, I, like I said, I've seen you so active <laughs> uh, showing up to the meetings, the trainings or on the Facebook group. And that's what I tell brand new people, right? I tell mm -hmm. them, Hey, plug in um, mm -hmm. JC Rango. Uh, he quote, he coined this. And it's so true, but I'm just going to share it with you guys. It's like, you know, these meetings are like the bonfire. And imagine, you know, being a solarpreneur, right? Just out on your own. You're, imagine being like out on the beach and it's cold and it's dark. Well, when you go to the bonfire and everyone's there, you stay lit, you stay warm, you stay alive. You drift off. You, if you don't go, if you don't plug in, you don't go to the meetings you drift further and further away from that bonfire. What happens when you're walking out in the cold and the dark all, all night long? You, you end up dying, right? So it's like when people join the platform, it's not that hard. All you got to do is plug in on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, right? At least that. But show up to the um, you know the business opportunity meeting on Monday, building with Bobby on Fridays. There's so many trainings. In fact, I'm going to share the hottest, newest training here in just a second. So stay tuned. But Malia, you are rocking it. You are a superstar in the making and just keep on going, girl. Appreciate you. Thank you. Absolutely. Love it. I got solar bill, power bill. Power bill. Yeah, that's that's power right. Bill. Garrett. 
How you doing, Jay man? Um, just want to uh, take a minute, Malia too. I want to just congratulate you. That's so good. Your energy was so great to see at Power World, and you were just just ready to go. And now you've you've been doing it, and uh, you are the proof in the pudding. So, uh, if you want to know how to do this thing, folks, watch Malia. She's going to be a star. I also want to call out um, Elise Schubin, who's on this call today, who is not in my business, but who I've had the pleasure of doing uh, flies a few deals with. Uh, the latest one of which is the our first uh, Everbright proposal. Elise uh, is a realtor in Southern California and is jamming. She's talking to lots of folks and we've been uh, uh, doing a lot of proposals. But Elise has really been uh, steady on the steady on the gun. And I want to just call her out there because I don't know that she is anybody else promoting her. So good job, Elise. Awesome. Great job, Elise. I see you here on the call. It's all about showing up, taking action. Much love. Super appreciate you. Anybody else have a win over the past week they'd like to share? Walter, I see your hand physically raised. I can actually see you. So what you got, Walter? Okay. Hey, number one, I got a close last Friday. Uh, my first close in Texas, in Houston. So I'm very excited about it. Uh, Secondly, I would like to thank you for the last uh, meeting when Christopher mentioned, you know, the, to have the email as part of the contract. So that helped me to the, for this presentation that I did in San Diego. And uh, you know, first of all, I did the presentation to the client and then he says he's going to think about it and just wait because the, he want to get a quote from somebody else that the, the neighbor put into the roof. So um, he did that. I called him back, follow up, follow up, until finally uh, I called him and I say, well, uh, what happened? And uh, and he says, well, he says they cannot do it. What do you mean they cannot do it? Oh, because they cannot transfer the electric, the main electric power from one location to the garage. And thanks to the the information that I got, especially from Christopher, thank you, Christopher, uh, that gave me the confidence to present it to the client. Now everything is fine, everything is great. That's gonna be a fifty thousand dollars cash coming in in the next couple of days. Secondly, I joined the BNI here in Los Angeles, great group. So it looks like a very good, and I'm very exciting about that. And uh, I want to ask Bill, did you get your one hundred? It's all you know um, for your century. Yeah, you know, I think I am at 99, I think. <laughs> uh, well, I, I remember I will, you said that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put a big post up when that happens. So oh, thank okay, you. Great, thank great. you, Walter. Yeah, Thanks, was, Of course. Yeah, I was uh, waiting for that. That's a big number, this entry. Yeah, that's what I'm getting to, hopefully. So <laughs> that's yeah. about it, uh, Jerry. Thank you. Right on, Walter. I appreciate you sharing that with us. Yes, once again, just all the more reason to show up to the meetings. Walter getting tremendous value. Chris helping him out with that. And uh, and then Bill, man, hey, dude, that, cent that Centurion Club. Looking forward to celebrating that. Well, I'm well let's celebrate. I just looked. I, I, I Let's celebrate because I just looked at my platform. At, I'm at 101. So. Yeah, you guys give it up for Bill. Making the Centurion okay. Club. There That's you go. amazing. That is a huge, huge accomplishment to hit a hundred projects on this platform. Um, I'm proud of you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're we're just getting started, right? Very cool. That's right. Hey, the best is still ahead, as someone says. So any other anybody else have any other wins that they'd like to share before we move on? If not. We will get on with the training. If you're raising your hand physically, I can't see you because of all the people on this Zoom call. So we're going to go ahead and move on. Let me share my screens. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So one thing that, oh, we're missing our power perspective. Our power perspective, brother, is still across the pond. Everybody seems to be in Europe. Have you guys seen Irene out there and Megan and the, the twins? Uh, Rick, Tom, they're all over there in Europe. It's a crazy time to be in Europe, but 
No, they look like they're living their best lives and well-deserved for all of them. So one thing I want to remind everybody of, you know, we talk about these events, but when I talk to people, they go, well, where are the events? I'm like, how do you not know this? This needs to be bookmarked powercalendar.com. This is where all the live trainings are. You can literally, I mean, there's a training for everything. Span just got done doing their product training an hour ago. Here we are on our team training for Power Hitter Solar Warrior Tribe. Market development meetings. If they're, if you sell in a specific market and you're not part of your market development meeting, what are you even doing? This is where all the leaders show up, project managers, operations managers, any up-to-date uh, news with that market is every single week. And you can scroll on here, powercalendar.com. What I would do is, is I would take this, put it in my Google calendar, whatever calendar you're using, and just lock it in weekly with the link to join, a reminder, plan around it. That is necessary. Um, there's, you know, TPO, third party ownership. Rachel conducts this workshop on Wednesdays, 12 o'clock Pacific, every single week. You want to learn how to sell a thousand leases like Chris? You should be on here, right? Understanding what you're selling for your customers. So get on here. But the, the newest, the hottest training, and one of the best trainings I've seen in a long time, it's not on here. It should be on here. I'm sure they'll incorporate it into here. But I want to give a huge shout out to Jason Leach and Greg Grendel, who performed this training called Sizing Matters, uh, They where they totally break down solar and storage sizing, um, not just for NEM3. I mean, it's specific for NEM3, but you can apply it to any market. Jason, I, I had no clue. I was blown away, but literally put together this incredible spreadsheet that it breaks down exactly. It sizes the system perfectly for a home if you have no previous usage. Um, it's super impressive. We got to get a copy of the, the recording. We'll end up putting it in the chat so you guys can go back and watch that first one. This is tremendous value. Um, and so much for our team and educating people. Jason, are you on here? I saw you like walk off. If you are, I'd love for you to come off mute. If not, dang it. But go ahead and bookmark this, you guys. This will be on the second training. It's going to be where we're, it's tomorrow. So um, here, here's the link, copy link. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the chat, register for it. Hop on there, watch the recordings. Once again, highly, highly recommended. So get on there and shout out to Jason. I know he's on the call, but I think he had to take a call. Probably helping a homeowner go solar. All right. With that said, let's go ahead and hop into our training this week. Chris, you're gonna, you were going to uh, talk about some of your favorite closes. So what I want to do is I want to do um, just keys to a successful close because, you know, okay. I hear a lot of lot of um, talk about scripts and, you know, pitches. And I want to kind of get away from that. I want to pivot a little bit. Um, and the one thing I love about this platform is we all get to contribute to it. So I see I mean, there's some amazing leaders on here. I mean, I see Rick Joseph is actually on this Zoom. We've got Cynthia. Uh, we've got uh, Chaz, I see, uh, Adam DRC, Mike Winter. Um, so you guys can I, help kind of fill in the, 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 the blank here. So I'm going to do kind of an interactive training, but I've got a great slide deck. What I've always used, it's a process that I use. And uh, Larry McKinney, I know he'll want to jump in as well. Um, so let me share my screen and let's just talk about um, just what I use as, as a process. And remember, Whatever your process is, like some of the people that I see up here, I see I see Tracy, I see Malia, I see Walter, I see Bill. You guys are going to have a different approach than I will, but create your own process, create your own identity. And I hope what I outline here today, you guys can kind of fill in the, the blanks and make it yours. Remember, it's your, your identity, it's your flavor. 
Um, and man, let me let me echo what you said, Jared. I get so frustrated when I hear a team member say, Chris, on our team training on Tuesday night, because I do a team training Tuesday night, I was doing it for a, forever. Um, and I've kind of pulled off of that. They're like, can you train on leases? And I was like, man, bro, I just freaking did that on tribe training or, or, or Rachel McDonald has a great TPO training. She's a wizard. And they're like, Chris, how did you learn that? I learned it by attending these trainings. You guys jump on these trainings and use them, pay attention to the power calendar. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and then we're going to jump into this and then hopefully you guys will get some value of, from it, right? Everything is about uh, just what value can you get? Um, and, you know, it's uh, it, 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 some people have different takeaways. So let's just talk about keys to a successful, the do's and don'ts of, of, of Solar 101, right? And so I think what this will be good for is for a lot of you, it'll just kind of jog your 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 mind and and get some ideas flowing so you guys can bring that close because what i want to get you guys away from is winging it man jared i'm so good i can wing it right well obviously that gets us into trouble because we're not prepared you know and and, and like they say preparation is the separation between good and great right if we just get good that is actually the antithesis of going to great because we want to go to great. We want to go to phenomenal. We want to, we want to have that million dollar jacket that JC Rangel has that Larry McKinney has, you know, all the, 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 the leaders that are stepping up the, the, the pioneers of this business that are, that are forging the way for us. And so we want to get to that level. So let's think about this, right? Let's talk about some fundamentals. This is what I love. And Larry chime in if you want, man, this is, this is a training for all of us. This should be interactive. In our solar sphere, in our ecosystem, you know, we have this, this, Jared talks about all the time, this, the, the solar bros, as opposed to the solar pros. And so if we just practice the fundamentals, and I hear it a lot on these calls, if we eliminate these words, solar deal, I got a solar deal going, what do you, like a deal, like you don't work in a car lot, you don't, you don't, you're not working at Best Buy selling TVs, it's not a deal. It's a solar project, right? We want to replace it with a couple words and just work on it every day. Because remember, words matter, you guys. Words matter when you're talking to your clients. Words matter when you're talking to somebody who's thinking about getting into the solar industry. So we want to present our best, the best, um, the, the the best image of ourselves, the, the the best position. So uh, eliminate these words. Pitch a deal. No, we don't want to pitch a deal. We want to review a solar solution. Hey, I got this customer and man, they just been giving me a headache. No, you don't have a customer, right? A, 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 uh, somebody who is like selling a timeshare, that's a customer. They're pitching to a customer. We have solar clients. And, uh, I hear a lot of people say, man, I've been slinging glass for 12 years, right? We can say that between, you know, when we're just having a, a beer and talking about solar and like, hey, how long you been slinging glass? I mean, I've been in the solar industry for, you know, 12 months. No, we work in renewable energy. And uh, commission. I've heard actually some people in a in a in a solar presentation talk about commission. Well, I just can't go that low because my commission can't be can't be that low. Or yeah, these people are making a lot of commission. No, these are compensations for my for my work, my 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 hard earned commission. So if we just jump right into it, and anybody that wants to to jump in on this, feel free. Anybody, you can take yourself off and mute and jump in. I'd love to hear from Larry. Larry might be uh, tied up right now. Anybody? No, I, I mean, I'll, I'll jump in really quick. Yeah. I am guilty. I'll be the first to admit, I'm guilty of using these words. I've been in sales for 25 years. And a lot of this is sales jargon, right? And, you know, it's not that you would be saying these types of things in front of a client or a customer. Holy smokes, that would be a train wreck. But words do matter. And if you're yeah. using this type of mindset and using these words when you're even talking to your peers, it does kind of bleed out into, you know, how you're thinking about doing this profession. So it is a great reminder. I'm guilty of it all the time. I, I actually just like sl saying slanging glass. <laughs> so do I. It's, it's fun I do. to say, it but is, you're yeah. right. You know, you're, you're helping people out. Um, you know, you're, you're a renewable energy expert. 
So you know, absolutely. situational awareness, guys, becomes so important. If you you know, slinging glass or some of these terms that we throw around loosely with friends and whatnot. Okay, I get it. But in a professional space, absolutely not. If I if I can really quick, I wanted to add one to the fundamentals list because I hear this unknowingly as a mistake coming out of the mouths of a lot of T1s or, or others out there. And I'm not knocking anybody. This is all constructive, but eliminate the words dealer fee. 100% get rid of the words dealer fee, replace that with administrative costs or something along those lines, but you've got to get rid of the words dealer fee in your vernacular. You're so right, Jason. And I came from the mortgage finance industry and in the mortgage finance industry, we call it loan origination. And those are banking fees. It's not a dealer fee because essentially we are the dealer. We didn't create those fees. So it's loan origination or prepaid interest. Because if they're going to reduce their interest on a monthly basis, then they got to collect that interest. So in a sense, you know, Mr. and Mr. Client, you're actually paying prepaid interest. You're so right. And, and one other way to just on that note to explain to people, right? Because if you if you offer them one interest rate and here's the price of the project, you offer them a lower interest rate and the price of the project is higher. A simple way of explaining that is that essentially what you're doing is buying down the rate. Just like with a mortgage, you can buy down the rate. You can pay more money to lock in a lower interest rate. It's the exact same thing. The benefit, though, is when you go solar, the 30% tax credit is on the entire solar project. So even though you bought down the rate, it's part of the solar project cost you're getting that 30% tax credit to help pay for you buying down the rate. So that's 100%. a very simple way to explain that. And I heard one of the ladies wanted to share as well. I heard a voice oh, chime that in. Was, that was me. I was just saying I use origination, um, yeah. origination fees because people relate to that from the home buying process or buying down the rate. Um that's all I was saying. We should make a cheat sheet, like a terminology cheat sheet. Say this versus that say cool. that. Yeah, That's that would be cool. Because I do that. hear say deals all the time. And hey, I was pitching this customer. It's like, man, what are you selling VCRs out of the back of a truck? Or what are you doing, man? So um, anyway, it just kind of gets you to think. So um, as we move on, what I want to do is I want to go through um, just an appointment flow that I use. And uh, and you guys can create your own appointment flow. And certainly we'll... we'll, we'll um, We'll share this deck if it, if it helps you guys, um, but create your own appointment flow when it comes to talking to clients. I just got a call this morning. Um, he said, hey, my name is, uh, is Suki and you helped my friend Mandeep uh, install a solar system. He, liked, he said, I'd love for you to, to, um, to come meet with me. I said, absolutely. So I did the initial call this morning. I built some rapport. I asked him some questions and uh, took down his information. And I said, hey, here's my email. Um, I said, actually, I'm going to send you an email. Give me your email. And then I would love a current copy of your of your utility bill. And then um, I got four things. Obviously, his name, which he gave me, his phone number, his email address, um, and a uh, copy of his utility bill. And that's the initial call. So now I'm ready to move on. I'm started. Ching. The bell rung. I'm ready to go. And I'm in my appointment flow. So where do I go from here? I go to my discovery call. What does that look like? So my initial call, I told you guys, I built rapport. I, you know, we know the same people and hey, that's great. His system looked great. Um, so we kind of move on from there. And then we go into the discovery call, right? The discovery call is 100% about their world, right? And again, this goes back to don't wing it, be prepared, be fully prepared about what you want to ask. And if you don't have one of these really cool power consultation forms, which look, it has pre-formatted kilowatt hours, dollars, the months, the total. Uh, what did you do on the site analysis? Because you're going to meet with them in person. You're going to have, you're going to go through their house and, and ask them questions. If you don't have a copy of that, I can get you one. I created it from uh, SunPower. And then I just, I, I had to create my own from SunPower because SunPower, this high and mighty company, didn't even have a consultation sheet. So I had to actually create my own. Um, so be thorough, get to know their world, right? It's going to help you through the whole sales process. You're setting yourself up for success. And if you're in person, dress professional. This is our team right here. Power Solar is our team. Power Solar is our team. Or like Cynthia, she has Cynthia with Solar. Um, you know, some uh, Rob and Raysa have the the R and R. What is that again? Uh, 
I don't remember. Um, but and then Jared McAllister, he has his logo. Look at his logo, you guys. Just take a look and compliment on his logo. Put in the chat how cool his logo is. Jared McAllister Virtual Solar Pro. I freaking love that. It's just awesome. So anyway, be professional. Show your brand. Your brand is right not on, bro. your brand is not a baseball team. Your brand is not a uh, you know Trump or Biden or whatever your political affiliation is. Like that's not your brand. Your brand is power, or your brand is a subsidiary of power. So. Um, you want to get into the past, present, and future of their use. Like, where, where, what have they gone through? How do they get in their, themselves in this position where they have such a high utility bill? And then, uh, are they going to get an EV? Are they going to get a spa? Are they going to get a pool? All that kind of stuff. Ask those questions and then get them to ask questions. Have you ever been in a sales presentation where they're like, mm hmm, uh huh, mm hmm, yeah, uh huh, I understand, yeah, I understand. And then, you know, then they ghost you. You can't get a hold of them and they don't even want anything to do with you because you didn't get the to the heart attack of the situation. You didn't pinpoint the right pain points and you didn't accentuate the pain point. So get them to ask questions. If they're asking questions, then they're on board. And the more questions you can get them to ask, the more acceptance you're going to have. Um, so that's the discovery call. OK, now homeowner presentation. This is really important, you guys, because I don't want you to just wing it. Right. And this is where be prepared. Now, you may not go along with there's many times where I'll do a Zoom like in training and I'll just ignore the entire Zoom. Like Mark and I did a, a uh, solar presentation for an, um, an office of 30 real estate agents a couple weeks ago. And I think I used one slide and it was one that Cynthia had put together. So thank you very much, Cynthia. Um, and I, I, I took such great care with crafting that whole Zoom slide. And I was like, this is going to be awesome. And uh, I think I used one slide and just ignored the rest and just talked uh, and did like a 15 minute presentation. And we walked away with two utility bills. So take that. Ha. Huh? Um, and then go over the solar savings report. It's not a deal. It's our it's our report. Right. And you want to review it line by line. You want to accentuate the pain points, the pain points of utility. And the 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 um, the insecurity of the grid, the um, the inability to understand what your future charges are going to be, all of that, that just there's there's frustration. You want to get to that frustration and then go over that. But you don't want to just breeze through that and go, man, you're saving a ton of money. Check this out. Woo! And then go over the 25 year savings and then see use the escalator slider and make sure when you go into that adders on utility, move that adder to 6% increase on utility costs because there's no utility in the nation that, that has increased less than 6%. If there is, I'd like to see it, but Rocky Mountain Power, uh, Duke Energy, all those are just going out of control. And especially in California where we have astronomical rates. And then just end, so if I'm gonna be scripting at all, cause I have, I have key talk tracks that I use, we all do. Back when uh, Jarrett was selling security systems, he had his talk track and the pain point would be, you don't feel safe. You don't feel secure. What happens if somebody breaks into your house? And he had his, his talk tracks exactly like if they said this, you say that. You're going to get that way in solar. If somebody said, well, you know, uh, I've heard that, you know, solar isn't good for the envi environment. You know, you have your talk tracks, and all that. But you always want to end your solar savings report if, hey, if these numbers look great to you, is there any reason why we can't get this process started? And, and if they've asked the right questions, if you've taken care of all of their objections, then they're going to say, no, I, I think we can totally get started. You're not going to say, uh, well, hey, you ready to you ready to sign, sign the contract? Hey, are you ready to uh, to, uh, you know, take take the, the dive into the deep end of the pool and, and, and get this going? No. Hey, is there any reason why we can't start this process? Because it is a slow moving process that you're just going to glide into. And obviously it comes with signing the contract, signing the CPUC. If you're in California, um, in Florida, is there a, a consumer protection document that we have to sign? Jason, you would know that. No, there isn't. Okay. So uh, some of the States like, uh, uh Illinois, you have to be certified and there's a, there's a disclosure document. Um, but California, we have the CPUC. It's a 24-page document that's required. If you're going to sign a Sonova uh, credit link check, you got to notify the customer. Hey, I'm going to send you a link right now. And, and I usually walk them through it. And then I walk them through the 24-page CPUC document. And that's required by law. And one of the questions on there is you should get two or three solar quotes. 
So if you have, if they haven't done that, and and you you should probably address that ahead of time. Say, hey, I already know that we're the most uh, we're the most affordable solar out there with the best service. However, um, is there any reason why you feel you should get additional quotes? And if they say no, then move forward. And if they say yes, then say, great, man. Uh, you should probably definitely check with some of the big ones like Sunrun, SunPower. I love when people quote me against Sunrun. We just beat Sunrun by $220 a month last week. It was awesome. I drove to Temecula, 11 hours round trip for a uh, for a mentor appointment. And Jared's like, dude, you should have done that virtually, bro. <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> hey, real quick, something I'd like to add uh, to what you were saying. You actually said one of my key buzzwords that make me cringe when I hear it. And that's the word contract. I yeah. personally, and I learned this a long time ago, I never mentioned to the homeowner about a contract because no one likes contracts. Who yeah. wants to sign a contract, right? So I've always replaced, so we're talking about replacing words, replace the word contract with agreement. I love it. I love it. Solar agreement. The solar agreement. It's yeah. an agreement. That it just sounds so much better. So try, you know, if you hear yourself saying contract, try to replace it with the word agreement a lot better. I love it. Anybody else have any feedback that, uh, up to this point? Because again, I, I like to keep this. We have so many just warrior stud and stud S's on here. Stud S's? Stud S's? I don't know. Stud S's. It just, I think just stud S's. Man. Stud S's. Stud S's. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I just love the input. And again, it's just a collaboration of just amazing people. Oh man, George well, Jordan Shaw. has his hand. Jordan's going to bring stop. some freaking, he's going to bring the fire. So one of the things I like to do also is show the cash flow value proposition, not necessarily the price, but the, you're going to do this anyway by spending the money over time. Let's see exactly how much, you know, how quickly you get your money back or how quickly you're going to spend this money with SDE or whatever the utility is in terms of five years, seven years, nine years, whatever it is. And as soon as you get them locked on that, payments become just a conversation at that point because they've already locked in that they're going to have to buy this system many times over already and in the next five years because everybody focuses on the 25-year savings and that's all good and well. But as soon as you get them locked in the fact they're going to pay for it anyway over mm -hmm. a very short period of time, game over. You're so right. Can I and piggyback I on that really quick, guys? Yeah, yeah. go for it. Jason. Just to piggyback on that, Jordan is absolutely right. Too many people, and we can easily help this conversation evolve, but too many people are focused on ROI, which is return on investment, instead of COI, which is the cost of inaction. And so if we can get them to focus on the cost of not doing anything at all, the cost of inaction, asking for the sale becomes a lot easier. Yeah. For sure. uh, Absolutely. One, one more one more piggyback there, Chris. Uh, yeah, go uh, for it. Just just real quick, the idea of showing a spreadsheet um of the cost over time so that because people can't relate, most people cannot relate to 25 year savings. They just don't think that far out. So, but when you can show them the five year savings and the cost differential between if you stay with the utility and what you would have paid with your system and the seven or ten your savings, that's much more relatable. People can see that, they can plan for it. All of a sudden it may, becomes more real to them. So um, I think it's incredibly important to show that up front with somebody as soon as you get into the to the numbers to show that difference. You're, you're so absolutely, right. Absolutely, Bill. And and one more thing, you guys. And, and so I don't know if all homeowners realize this, but then you put it in their face, either with a spreadsheet or you just do the simple math. They're paying for this already. They're already paying for solar. It's whether they're paying for their own system or they're paying for the utilities system, but they're making the payment anyways. Might as well be putting your hard earned dollars back into your own pocket when you purchase a system in the form of added value on your home. And there's an end date to this. They're making the payments. Right. So show them that. Say, look, I mean, in this example right here, I could do the math real quick. 256 a month, that's three thousand dollars a year. 
right? $3,100 a year that they're throwing away to the utility. Did you get anything in return from that $3,000 except for a higher payment the following year? No, you didn't. But when you go solar, you're eliminating that payment or greatly reducing that payment and replacing it with a smaller one or an equal one, but at least you're putting it in your own pocket. Hell, even if I was paying more money per month, but it was going into my own pocket rather than just burning it, I'd much rather do that. So just another perspective. Cynthia, see your hand raised. You would like to add to this? Yeah, I love that we're having the conversation of just like, do's and don'ts. I, I already feel this is why I attend these trainings, even though we're doing good, right? I always pick up new things from, from people. So thank you, Chris, for this training. I've already, I, I'm already taking away a couple things. I was talking to Michelle Spina this morning on a solar edge training. And since we're on the subject of a keys to a successful close, one thing that I wanted to add was just like being a real person, right? Being a real person during the consultation, because a lot of times in sales, we're taught mirror the customer, see what's in their house, try to pretend you like fishing if they like fishing, like that kind of crap, excuse my language, right? But, but it's so disingenuous, like customers already know all the sales techniques, they already know all the tricks. So just be a real person and talk to them like you would talk to someone at a party, you know, like talk to them, like they're just a normal person, like, hey, you know, um, what were you doing today? Do you have any other plans after this? Um, just really try to make a friend and be genuine. Don't try to pretend you like fishing or their sport or, or whatever it is, like be a, a real person and make like a connection from them. And if you come from a place of service, um, that will definitely help. So that's all. I wanted to add in. Thanks guys for the training today. Yeah, you're so right. And the one thing I took away from SunPower is is as you go into a home, you you know that you're going to have competition. And we know for being with power, unless you're charging a buck and a half in margin, which you shouldn't be. If you are, you probably shouldn't be in this training because uh that's that's not, you know. I mean, I'm not going to dictate your pricing, but uh, we know that we're going to be the most reasonably priced out there, right? We know that going in. So really your competition is not the competition. Your competition is getting to um, educate the client. And so spend some time in the homeowner presentation, spend some time on, on, on getting them to understand what solar is. And also what I want you to do is stay curious. If you, if you haven't written that down, cause I mention it all the time, stay curious in a curious mindset and you will make a lot of money. If you don't know what the Q in Q cell means, if you don't know that that's the quantum technology and how it bounces the, the cells to a closer array and creates more efficiency of power within that cell, then learn that. If you don't know how an efficiency rating of 21.4% is calculated for a Q cell, yet it's 22 and a half for REC, then learn that and learn what efficiency means. Efficiency rating is simply you take a square foot of solar material and how much of that square foot can be con 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 transferred to power, to energy, okay? And and right now we're we're, we're very low at, at the you know low low 20 percentiles. But if you don't know that stuff, then learn it. If you don't know what degradation means, then learn it. And then as you inform the client about that, clients thank me all the time. They're like, man, I was confused as hell when I talked to Sunrun. I was confused as hell when I talked to Tesla and I can't even get a hold of a person. It's all online. Now you made me understand what it means to actually go solar and they're going to thank you. Last point I want to make is Bill, just say, hey, I, I don't know about those leases. I don't want to get into a lease. That's your objection to me. Uh, hey, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I I had some people told me about problems they had. Realtor friends said, at least don't get into a lease; they're just a just a pain in the neck. What, yeah, what, you know, what's up with those I, now? I totally appreciate that, and I actually used to think that way myself. And and did you know, Bill? Right now, you're actually enrolled in the most expensive lease on the market, and that is the lease with PG&E or your local solar or, or utility company. And and actually, you know, a client of mine just last week, Matt Graney, he thought the same thing because he's actually a real estate investor. And he's like, hey, I'm all about ownership. I want to own it. And I said, I totally understand that. 
But if we look at the the investment of your eighty three thousand dollars, we could actually transition that into a lease, and your lease payment is only four hundred and fifteen dollars a month, which is seven hundred dollars less than what you're paying your lease to PG and E now. And I can show you immediate savings. So if if that makes sense, then we can move forward with that. Well, so and that and it sounds good, but what about the the fact that I just when I'm done and I leave my house, I quit my PG and E bill. Uh, I'm done, right? What happens to a lease? Yeah, and Sonova makes it so simple. They're such a respected company. They're traded on the NASDAQ. They were started in 2012, and they actually have a few-page document that makes it very simple. When you uh, make the decision to sell your home or leave your home, you get in contact with their customer service, and then they just ask for three contacts, the real estate agent, the real estate escrow company, and the broker, and then they take care of all the paperwork and all the uh, nuances of getting that lease transferred to the new owner and actually homes sell a lot faster when they have that le reasonable lease payment rather than expensive utility. Okay. Well, that's a lot different than what I heard. So thanks for yeah. clearing that. All right. Well then let's, uh, let's sign your solar agreement. All right, guys. So uh, now know, know your documents that you're signing, know your solar agreements that you're signing. Again, this is where you stay in that curious mindset. And you, you realize you guys, we get copies of everything that we sign with the customer, right? So when you get those documents, just review them. And they're boring as hell to read. But no, like, for instance, unless I was um, reading uh, Facebook, and correct me if I'm wrong, but our 30-year warranty on uh, worksmanship roof penetration equipment is only transferable to one owner. I didn't know that, but it's in the documents. And so now I have to go and track down a 30-year uh, warranty uh by PowerCare and then read through those documents. But I've read through all the documents of the CPUC when I first got started in solar. I read through all the um, documents on the Sonova lease. Um, and I, I wanna know that stuff. So then you can explain that to the clients rather than just sending them a lease and saying, how, have you guys ever heard this? Hey, I'm, I'm so glad you made the decision to go solar. I'm sending the docs over right now, just open it. There's just, just a few signatures, go ahead and click, 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 and then I'll get them back and then we'll get you going. I mean, I hate to say it, but that, that's a pretty standard close in this business. Um, and, and again, double check the equipment specs that are on that contract, because I've had mistakes where where they, they were just entered. I had everything in there wrong, but it just didn't transfer over right. And then it causes a delay because you have to do a, a, a change order or a change order acknowledgement or, you know, di different stuff. Um, just be sure there's no confusion with the clients and then be sure they have copies of everything, because I've had so many times where just two weeks ago when we signed that big uh, Sonova uh, project, we had to um, get them to rescind and cancel their Sunrun uh, project. So I went through all the paperwork and I said, you got to send this, sign this document and then send it back. Um, and they didn't know what equipment they had. They didn't know what their offset was, nothing like that. They were just so confused, but Sunrun still got them to sign it. So not only were they not confused with my solar agreement, they were not confused with their equipment, their production. They weren't confused with who I was, what my name was, where I live, and, and my personality. Um, they were assured of the process. And so if if somebody came to them, a neighbor said, well, hey, how did that solar appointment go? They're like, oh, man, it was awesome. Chris explained everything. Uh, we're getting the Q cells. They're made in Dalton, Georgia. Uh, we have the Enphase microinverters. We have a, a three backup batteries from Franklin, uh, Franklin Whole Home Batteries. Man, it's just great. So again, make sure they have copies of everything, making sure there's full understanding. All right. So uh, let's before we move on, just feedback real quick. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd like to add something, give a pro tip when signing the agreement or when it comes time to sign the agreement. One is, yes, these agreements are tedious. There's long, they're long. There's a lot of legalese in them. And one, well, well, let me just say this. I take the time to sign the agreement with my homeowner every single time. Do not think if you get towards the end, they pass credit, you generate the document and you just sign it and send it over to them that they're going to sign it. It You are setting yourself up for failure. Could they do it? Yes. But chances are they're going to see this. There's going to be language in there that they don't understand. It's going to be a roadblock for them and it's going to prevent them from signing it. Now they're going to have hesitancy. They might start talking to their spouse. 
when it comes to the end of the presentation, it's all this is all part of the close and wrapping it up in a nice tight little bow. When I generate the document, I first pull it up on, you know, I do 100% of my deals virtually. So when I generate the document, I share my screen and I go over what I'm signing. I, it's a, you know, I'm not going over line for line, but I'm saying, hey, this is why I'm signing this part. This is why I'm signing this part. And I'm making it very simple. Then when I'm done signing it, it goes to them. I stop share and I have them share their screen so they can pull it up. One thing, it's a DocuSign. And we all know those things can be finicky and tricky. And it's trying to have them enter in the HOA information and they don't have one. But if you've gone through it and signed it on your end intelligently and where they understand what you signed, now when it gets to the point that you're just kind of guiding them through each signature, you're making sure they go all the way through. If they have a question, you know exactly what part they have the question on. Once And then you're also making sure they hit the finish button so it completes it. Then it goes to the finance document, right? So I'm having them pull that up. And, and this is all on their screen share. And I've done it when they're on their iPhone, when they're on their computer, they're going through their, their security questions. We're laughing about it, but go through it with them. Because if you leave it to their own accord to sign it, it rarely does it happen, right? Make That's sure so they good. set up and the auto pay right then and there on the spot. Do I have to do it? You don't have to, but if you can see it's a higher payment if you don't, let's just knock it out right now. So that those are my pro tips when it yeah. comes to yeah. signing the agreement. I've signed thousands of agreements, whether in solar or security or other industries, but it's just to make sure you take the time, be the professional, yeah. read it, yeah. know what they're signing. Um, that, that That's like the hugest part. So that's, And that's I, I, literally million dollar advice jared that's literally million dollar advice and if you don't believe me uh i'm looking there's three i know cynthia's almost there too jordan's on here there's there's a bunch of million dollar jackets that uh it, that either have come to fruition or will be there and so that's million dollars advice i love that share your screen and then have them share their screen i freaking love that that's a big takeaway for me so um check Check I'm going to teach market. you how to sell virtually one of these days. <laughs> I know. Then I don't have to drive 11 hours round trip. Uh, all right. Again, uh, we got a few minutes. So I'm going to burn through this really quick. Outline the next steps. Set up timeline expectations with site survey. Let them know that a battery acknowledgement checklist is coming if you're in California because that's mandatory to get signed. If you can sign it with your HIC docs if you're doing a, uh, uh, a finance deal. But if you're doing a Sonova or TPO, that, that has to come after the fact. Answer all the questions sincerely thank them and start the ambassador combo now i've got this cool thing where i I'm, I'm downloading today and i've talked about it i used to take all the pictures for site survey for my installer um uh, but now i can uh uh i i can also uh, help them with site surveys and they have things something called site capture so i don't want to get into too much because i know we're recording that and i don't want to get myself into trouble but there's ways to uh make the process go a little bit faster but the biggest thing that's on your plate to do is set the expectations, the timeline expectations with the homer. If you're doing an on-demand site survey, let them know, and then go and choose those two time availabilities within your power portal and get that stuff set up. Let them know that that's part of the process. Uh, enter the client in your oh, database oh, right on, away. I'll go back because there's a couple. There's a couple things that I'd like to add. What I do when I'm wrapping up this nice, pretty bow on the package, what I'm delivering. Obviously, you're setting up your expectations. You're talking about timelines, but here's some more pro tips. One, send them the link for the My Power app. You do it right from your back office. You click a button, boom, they get an email. Explain to them, and this is part of my presentation. I tell them, hey, we're a technology platform. What Once you start your project, you download the My Power app where you're literally going to log in, see your project, and the project manager is going to communicate you with every single step and stage along the way, outlined weekly updates. And that's where the majority of the communication takes place. If you, they don't download that app, they're going to be missing out. They're not going to be feeling like when, when the project manager leaves a a milestone and it says, Hey, and it shows the three characters. That means it was sent to you, to them. And it was, it's sent in the app. 
when they have the app, now they're getting communication weekly, updates, what's going on with their project. So make sure they download the app and then don't just send it to them, have them download the app and log in so they can see it. Number two is I'm going to let them know that they will be expecting a project acknowledgement call or email and to look out for that. It's going to outline everything that we just talked about and that all they need to do is simply hit reply with the word yes. If they don't do it, it delays the project. So look out for that email. And here's the final thing, you guys. Ask for referrals. Now is your time to yeah. ask for referrals. You just spent an hour, hour 20 with this homeowner, saving them a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars with no money out of pocket, with the best customer service, best warranties, best equipment. And you're right there. They're excited. They're fired up. There's really no other time where they're going to be this high. Ask them for referrals. Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, you know, now that you've gotten to take advantage of going renewable and saving all this money, I'm sure that you know some other homeowners that are in the same situation that you are. Did you know that we have an amazing ambassador program where we reward our customers when they refer someone to us that goes solar? It's a thousand dollars. You get a thousand dollar referral. Let's take the time. Who is it that you know that I could help out as well? And then go through a list, ask them about, you know, their neighbors, their parents, people they go to church with, people they coach their uh, kids basketball. Um, you know, it's like there's so many opportunities, but you got to put the, you, you have to make them visualize these names. These Because if you say, hey, think about somebody else who could go solar, their mind goes out into the freaking cosmos. Right. They can't think of one specific, but when you nail it down to the specifics, is there a neighbor that you can think of someone, you know, that you've worked with in the past? Is there a family member? Right. Get specific. It's going to help them think of those referrals and take the extra five, 10 minutes. You're there. You're there on the spot. Get those line up the calls. And then not to mention, they're going to reward to become an ambassador and then take the time to sign them up to become an ambassador right there on the spot. Hit it with there another you go. I'm doing the training and there's gold nuggets falling from the uh, sky. You guys, this is, this is amazing. Uh, enter them into your, into your database. You want to start marketing, marketing to them immediately because they're your friend. Uh, they will enjoy the information. And again, it reinforces the professionalism about what we're offering. And this is a step that I don't miss. And it's funny because one of the old sales reps at my previous company would laugh at me for doing this. I'd come to the office I might, might have had two or three appointments the day before, and then I'd start writing out thank you cards, handwritten thank you cards. Hand write a thank you note and include a business card because then they can hand it out to their friends and, and family. And again, if you get to, if you get home tonight and you go to the mailbox, you grab out, you're going to see bill, junk mail, bill, and there's a handwritten envelope. What is the first piece of mail that you're going to open? That handwritten thank you note. Hey, thank you so much for your time. Um, you can even make them so they're 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 power uh, uh, logoed um, and power branded. Um, but that is so, so critical. I think. Um, oh, and then lastly, this is uh, this is the last slide. Again, this is not so much for uh, for Jarrett, but I do everything in person. So I'm going to attend my installation. I'm going to film it for social media. And again, it, it, I'm up on the rooftop. I just reinforce that I'm the guy. I, I made this happen. I'm there right to the end. I'm going to show them like what their combiner uh, box is. I'm going to uh, show them, you know, basically the, the, the uh, components of the system. I'm going to bring a thank you gift, you know, bottle of wine, bottle of champagne, um, a, an impact report. Um, they, they, I put the welcome kits right there. Just go to our marketing, you go to your marketing tab and, um, you can find that. Uh, and then lastly, always stay in touch, always stay in the forefront of, of, of their mind as now they have a solar guy or a solar gal that is so important. Um, and, and, uh, with that, I want to say, I'm so glad that we did the, um, that we did the training last week on email database because you guys look at, I have my email all set up, ready to go. It's all, uh, it's all formatted. 
I talk about the ambassador, a thousand dollar sold referral. I have the link to an article that um, that somebody wrote about uh, that one of the you know solar um, you know knowledge companies wrote about power welcoming Tesla. A video from Jonathan Budd, uh, how solar made in the USA qualifies for an extra ten, extra ten percent tax credit, and then just an open say, hey, I'm excited to uh, get everybody involved again because to, as of tomorrow, it will be one year since I um, since I wherever my zoom there's my zoom um let me stop share on this uh and then i'll i'll wrap it um where is that bar right there stop share all right so um i i was able to send it tomorrow because i just felt weird i didn't want to get like a letter of you know non computer or anything like that um but it would be one year tomorrow since I resigned from SunPower, and it is absolutely the most incredible move I've ever made. I'm so thankful that, to this community. I'm thankful for uh, you know guys like Jarrett and Jonathan and Cynthia and and uh, you know Rick, just you know Bill Conley, just welcoming me onto the platform. And they're probably like, who's this goofy guy from this national you know solar company coming on board and and. You know, they gave me a company card. I had to pay for my own gas. And they're like, oh, we got these great leads for you. Drive. You just got to drive four hours round trip. And I'd get there and I'd be competing against six other companies. It was the most the bogus thing ever. So uh, I found my home and uh, I'm super excited. So thank you guys. And, and thank you for letting me do these trainings. Love it, Chris. Thank you, man. You have become a brother in arms. I love your story. I love your energy, your passion. You're always bringing the fire. That was incredible content, uh, great training, valuable for everybody. So we super appreciate it. Uh, with that being said, you guys throw Chris some love in the chat coming up on one year. We all appreciate you, dude. And we're going to go ahead and wrap up this training. Uh, but before I do, I do see the man who I was trying to give a shout out to earlier. He's back in his seat. He probably doesn't even know that I was telling everybody about it, but you guys, if you have not yet, Jason has a tremendous training called Sizing Matter. He did last week. I Hopefully you can throw a copy of the recording in the chat. It was incredible. Um, I highly, highly recommend you guys attend tomorrow's training. Jason, real quick, you want to come off mute? Just give a quick plug for your training. Yeah. Hey, Jared. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, listen, there's a lot of people in the industry with a whole bunch of swag, which is a scientific wild ass guess, right? Um, and that's the way that they're approaching their, their day when they're talking with their clients and trying to present a so-called solution. And at the end of the day, every single household is different. It might seem like a simple rule of thumb, two to one or whatever ratio you're looking at, but at the end of the day, everyone's home is different. So I, I tell people, think of it this way. You know, if you're going in to see a, a dentist or a surgeon or someone that's going to do something important to you, are you going to feel comfortable with them doing work on you just from what they see on the surface? Or would you rather that they have looked at your x-rays and gotten all of your labs before they get to work? At the end of the day, that's the mindset I think we need to have when we're working with our clients, when we're helping them identify a solution. So this whole training is geared towards a strong discovery call, helping understand what your homeowner's uh, usage history versus what their usage needs are, and how to really sort of understand what their usage looks like beneath the layers to help them identify what the best path moving, moving forward is. So Jared, again, I really appreciate you uh, giving me the opportunity to get this out there. Come by tomorrow, one o'clock p.m. I have a link there on Pioneers. It is gonna take you to my Calendly. Um, I'm kind of tracking how many reservations that we get so that I can uh, hopefully build upon this and um, and get the marketing team to allow us to make this a regular. But yeah, I would love to see you all there. Bring your questions, bring your pro tips, and let's have some fun. Let's make better solar warriors out of all of us. Uh, amen, brother. I, I, you guys, I cannot speak highly enough of this training. I, I wasn't there for the first one. I watched the recording and I was blown away. Tremendous value. You're going to learn more than you could probably even capable of learning. I mean, I had no clue how smart this dude, this, the, the solar bowler was, man. He just absolutely crushed it. He's got this amazing spreadsheet. He's uh, happy to share it with. And 
Yeah, honestly, dude, when I was trying to uh, promote your training, I went on to powercalendar.com. I was like, what? It's not on here. How is this not on here? It needs to be a staple on there. So uh, I'm in your court for that one. So anyways, with that being said, I appreciate you all showing up this week to Power Hitter Solar Warrior training. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this recording. And if you have any questions, stay tuned. We'll do a little bit of office hour. So with that said, bye-bye for now. See you next week.